Hello everybody, welcome to Mathematical Production. Today we're going to be going over an example on how to find an inverse function when given a function with fractions. So our example today is going to be f of x is equal to one third times x plus two thirds. So your first step is going to change the function notation to y. So f of x just transfers to y and this just makes it easier to work with. And after you do that, you then want to change your dependent variable to your independent variable and vice versa. And that just means changing your y into your x and changing x into y. And keep everything else the same. All right. So now that you changed your variables, you now want to solve for your new y. So because you're adding 2 thirds to the right side, you want to do the inverse of that to both sides. So go ahead and subtract 2 thirds. And that's going to leave you with x minus 2 thirds is equal to 1 third times y. So you want to do the inverse of 1 third, which you could think of as y divided by 3. So now you want to multiply 3 to both sides. And 3 times 1 third is equivalent of 3 divided by 3, which is just 1, so that crosses out. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. And that's going to be equal to y. So now you want to go ahead and change your y back into function notation. So the notation for inverse function is going to look like this. And that's going to be equal to what you just found, which is 3x minus 2. And this is going to be your answer for your inverse function. Now, if you want to go ahead and check that, what you can do is plug in your inverse function into your original function or vice versa. And if your answer is x, then you know that is correct. So let's go ahead and do that. So pretty much everywhere you see x in your original function, you're going to want to plug in the value for your inverse function. So over here, for f of x, we have 1 third times x plus 2 thirds. The only time we see x is when it's being multiplied by 1 third. So instead of x, we're going to have 3x minus 2. So 1 third times 3x minus 2 plus 2 thirds. So 1 third times 3 it's just going to give you 1. 1 third times negative 2 is going to give you negative 2 over 3. And then bring down the 2 over 3. Negative 2 over 3 plus positive 2 over 3 just cancels out to give you 0. And you're left with x. So therefore, the inverse function that we found earlier is correct. If you found this video helpful, make sure to check out our other videos on this similar topic and like comment and subscribe and have a great day thank you